Minister of Legal Affairs, Public Safety and Labor, the Honorable Stedroy Benjamin, added that the program being launched is very timely. Minister Benjamin says the government intends to make certain that there is greater collaboration. We are going to work together as a team to protect our borders because we have a responsibility, you see, to make certain that we honor our commitment to our international partners as well. Because if our borders are porous, their borders will be porous too. The aim, he says, is to make Antigua and Barbuda not only the safest society in the Caribbean, but an example for all to follow. Commissioner of Police Wendell Robinson said that education and awareness are very critical. He says there have been many challenges over the years in dealing with the issue of human trafficking and migrant smuggling. There were difficulties with legislation that was passed to combat these two types of offenses. And there were constitutional difficulties, which resulted in one of our famous cases going through the window. However, we do have another case before the court where two persons have been charged under the new Human Trafficking Act. And because I cannot say much, I cannot go into the details of that case because it is presently sub judice. However, that case is ready and we are just awaiting the committal date uh, to proceed and hopefully we'll have the matter adjudicated in the High Court of Justice. On Sunday, a Thanksgiving service will be held at the St. Luke Anglican Church, while on Monday, a very distinguished panel will discuss the issue on ABS Monday Night Live. Other activities to commemorate the week of activities include community presentations, a media blitz, school visits, street fair, and an awareness walk.